Hi traders, the market is crashing. The S&P is down 1.6% and I'm expecting a continuation. And this is an extremely important lesson and live trading because today I'm going to talk to you about the rules which are changing while the market is crashing. I mean, I got some replies from some of my viewers, the live viewers in my live trading room, which you are very welcome to join. It's a free YouTube live trading room with, who said, you change your rules. You normally move out before the highs or something like that if I'm shorting and you just change your rules. So how come you change them? I'll explain later. Look at RBLX. I'm shorting here. Shares. It's a classic reversal, gap and go, it's down almost 5% and I'm expecting a continuation. And again, I trust the market to continue lower today. When you have such a big gap down 1.6% and of course the market is coming down recently, so we are during a crash, then you have to expect big moves and trust the market direction, trust it to continue coming down. Watch Netflix, it's down 4.7% and I'm going to short it because it's a nice reversal point, shorting here 2,000 shares and I wouldn't mind adding. You will see later that I keep adding to my short as long as the market is proving to me that it wants to come down. Doku is down 24% and it's also reversing. It should be a gap and go. I'm shorting 2,000, then I'm adding another 2,000. I thought I should have a little bit more size. So I'm now short 4,000 shares in Doku. Coin tried to move higher, failed, and now it's getting back to the low. So I'm about to short here 4,000 shares, hoping for continuation. And again, when the market's crashing this way, the way it does today, you leave your stocks a little bit more space. Now, take a look at what happens now. The second five-minute candle is green. And again, this is not good because now the stocks I'm short are about to move higher. Not so with RBLX, which keeps the downtrend, but look at what happened to coin. Now, normally I would move out before the highs. I would definitely have my stop loss. I mean, worst case scenario, over $60. Not in this case, definitely not in this case. You give them more space because you must trust the market to move lower. Now, the same with the coup, it's kind of going sideways. I'm a bit red. Uh, same with Netflix, it's kind of going sideways sideways it's a bit red but I do expect the market to continue coming down I have to trust the market and I am also adding quantities to the market while I see that the market is about to move down now take a look at this red candle that you're seeing here it's the first sign that the market is going to bounce down that's why I'm looking for a stock that is weak shorting now meta and look at the results so far. I'm down $25,000. I don't care. I mean, of course I care, but I do expect it to be something that, uh, I mean, will change while the market will move down. Now, take a look again at the S&P 500, a second red candle, and I again expect a continuation. Therefore, I find another trade, NVIDIA, and I'm shorting it here. And uh, it's a nice reversal point. Let's fast forward it so uh, we see just specifically what happened in NVIDIA. And please remember the market did the same. The S&P 500 came down at the same time. And look at the way NVIDIA moves down. I'm up $8,000, dollars $10,000. And it's getting to the point where I would like to take my, my partial. It just moved under the lows and I'm taking my partial right here, leaving 400 shares for the continued move of NVIDIA. And the same thing happened to Meta. You can see that I'm up $7,600. Taking my partial here, it also moved down. Now take a look at the S&P 500. Trust the market. This is what you do while the markets are crashing. It's under the lows. It's crashing down. And the coup finally came back down and I'm up six grand and I'm taking my partial here, leaving 400 shares. And again, trust it. Normally, I would have had some stop losses and not today. And RBLX just reached my uh, target and I'm taking my partial here. It's not a huge mover like other stocks. And coin is finally, has finally moved down. You can see that I added, I'm now short 6,000, taking my partial here. And again, it was as you remember over there uh, with a big loser, but um, I I did not move out. I trusted the market to come down. I trusted the weak stock to come down with the market and I just didn't move out. The only loser I have is Netflix. Netflix moved out up and I just had to stop it because the market was moving lower, but Netflix was moving higher. Therefore, I couldn't trust uh, Netflix. And anyway, the end result today is not quite as I wanted. I wanted to have a huge green day and I would have had it without my big Netflix loss. But you know, this is not a perfect game. 
So I just had uh, five winners, one big loser in Netflix because again, I trusted Netflix and I kept adding as it came down. But the end result, as you can see, is a loser in Netflix and $15,000 in gains. So theoretically speaking, I was looking for a big green day or a big red day. I've got something in between, which is kind of okay, but I was expecting a little bit more. Please remember, when the market is crashing, the rules are changing. You do not follow the same rules. When you have stop losses, uh, don't, don't activate your stop loss at the point where you normally would. Just trust the market to move lower. Add to your quantities once you see that uh, the market is in fact moving in your direction. Don't be quick to stop the stocks that are going the wrong way as long as they are weak. I mean, I shorted stocks which were down 4, 5, 24%. I didn't short stocks which were up or went sideways. I shorted stocks which are likely to move down with the market or better. Not all of them worked out like Netflix, but the, the way you trade when the market is crashing down is different. It's not the same rules. Hope you like this video enough to give me a like. I will really appreciate that. And please remember that trading is extremely hard and most traders do lose money. So please start with a demo. There's a link right here below this video to a Colmex demo, same platform I'm trading, which I believe is the world's best platform. So there's a link below you can open the Colmex account or just use the demo. Cost, doesn't cost you anything and uh, you can subscribe to this channel by hitting the subscribe button here and on the notification bell if you want to be notified of my future uploads and again thank you very much for watching this video and I'll see you in the next video.